Okay, let's talk about strain and injuries in the upper back, neck, uh, scapula area with kettlebell swings. What we most commonly see is a cervical, that's your neck, which is flexed at the top of the swing, right here. That uh, can be caused by weakness. It can be caused by not being able to connect with all the muscles, just not feeling the position that you're in. It can also be caused by tightness. Uh, so I'm, I will talk about some drills that you can do to overcome this, but don't expect this to be fixed uh, within a week. This is something that you need to work on over time. So I'll demonstrate first what it looks like and I'll do my best to demonstrate it. Pay attention to the top of the swing where the cervical is. Now notice the difference here. Here's the difference. A neutrally aligned cervical with your spine, with the rest of your spine rather. You got your cervical, your thoracic spine, your lumbar, it's all one big spine. So this is neutral, nice and straight. This is flexed. Now, your eyes can still be forward and you think you're neutral, neutral but you're not. So a great way to figure out whether you got that problem or not is to film yourself side on during the swing and just see is that neck neutral, yes or no. If it's not, here are some things that you can work on. So for strength, you've got your rows. That's a narrow row. You can also go out more to work more towards the middle of your scapula, contracting your scapula together. So here, a very important thing here is to actually be able to connect with your muscles around your scapula. So you know when you got good uh, scapula mobility, if you can Pull them together, pull them down, up, apart, to the front. Look at the range that we have here in this shoulder, right here. My chest is not moving, my spine is not moving. This here is all shoulder, scapula, down, front, up, back. That's a good range. So. That's another way to test and see whether you've got good flexibility and mobility in your shoulders. So your scapula are part of your shoulders, your shoulder blades. Now, a great thing to work on this position here and really keeping that neck straight is right here, elbows extended and then you come back as far as you can. Now I'm feeling a stretch on my pecs right here. And you get the tendency to bring that neck forward, but keep it here. Only go as far as you can comfortably go. Here's the side on view. So from the front to the back. Maybe you can't get that far, don't force it. The main thing is that you keep that neck straight and only go as far as you can go, which might be here. Okay, so once we're here, we're gonna come up, overhead. And down. The whole time that I'm moving, I keep pulling back. So I'm not moving up just here. I'll show you side on. 
Right here, there's no work being done, pulling those arms back, pushing the chest out. Now it's just all relaxed, but that's not what we want. So I'll show you what that looks like when you're not engaging all those muscles at the back. This is just bringing my arms overhead and it's just shoulder work here. Now we're gonna focus on the back right here. What's the difference? Pull back, keep pulling back and moving up. Keep pulling back and moving up. At no stage did my neck start to flex. And that's something that you need to work on. So you're working on all those muscles and you're working on moving through that range of motion all the way to the top. And you'll find sticking points, basically. I found, I found sticking points in the morning, like a, let's say three months ago when I did a lot of traveling and I'm back into my mobility work in the morning. I'll find some sticking points and you know that's when you're not moving uh, consistently up so you feel that your mobility is affected and when you get that point you work through it so here would be the point for example and then I keep working up and down up and down and then back up full range and then back again This is all about slow and controlled, connecting with your muscles, working through full range of motion. It's not about That's all easy. Anytime you're doing movements fast, it's easy. A squat fast is easy, but now do it slow. When you can do a exercise in slow motion, that's when you own the movement, not before that. And that should be part of any progression that you're doing with the exercises, a shoulder press. You can do that slow, great. Now it's time to move up in weight. Not before that. No, you don't own the movement. Same thing with uh, anything else that can be done slowly. Of course, a snatch or a swing, it doesn't apply for that but the, because those are ballistic movements. But anything that can be done slowly, windmill, Turkish get up, squat, lunge, you name it, push up, etc. That can be done slow. So before you start doing fancy stuff, do slow stuff. That's when you know that you've owned the movement. So to get back to the neck, basically here, there's a lot of load, especially with the swing when the weight is going there and the heavy weight. Everything is loose here and those muscles are being pulled. So there's load on your spine because it's not being taken by everything else, by your scapula, etc. So at the top here, you want to, to pack your chest, pull your scapula down and together. Your chest is packed. Think about pulling your armpits together and keep that neck back and straight. Even at the bottom of the swing, that's where it should be. A lot of people teach, look ahead. I don't teach that ever, unless I am working with somebody who has trouble keeping their shoulders back and then I'll explain that look up a little bit to make it easier to keep the shoulders back and I'll explain that we need to work towards looking straight keeping that cervical straight so to summarize we're talking about the strain on the upper back the neck around the scapula here from swings or even snatches or American swings etc it's because you are either tight, maybe at the front, you're tight, so everything is pulling forward here, or you're weak at the back, so you can't be pulling it back, or you're just not connecting with the muscles and you just don't know what it feels like to pull the scapula down and together 
and push the chest out. So these are all things that you need to work on. It's not just one thing. Uh, you got to do slow drills and here is one of the main drills that I've just shown you that I use myself, which is just extension of the shoulder as far back as possible. You feel it here at the front and you feel it at the back, your triceps as well. Then when you reach the maximum point, you start bringing your arms up in the same pace throughout as you can and back down you'll know that there's a sticking point once you go faster or slower you'll feel it and work through that sticking point so that was just a recap of what i've been talking about if you like uh, this content make sure that you subscribe to the channel also find us on uh, other social media channels uh reddit uh, type in kettlebell training you'll uh know when it's uh, caveman training uh, by looking at the logo find us on instagram real caveman training find us on facebook even though we're trying to get away from facebook at the moment if you want to learn a lot more about the swing and i guarantee you there is a lot more to learn then check out uh, the course master the swing by caveman training it covers every variation of the swing and it goes deep into a lot of things like this. Little things that uh, you just don't get. So yeah, you can be part of a group and uh, you get a bit of information here, you get a bit of information there. But the problem is you're getting information from different people. You don't know uh, what they know. You don't know uh, what they've been taught and why they've been taught that. So. The best thing to do is invest a little bit of money. You know, it's not a lot of money. Uh, our courses, uh, especially the at-home courses, because we got uh, courses for people at home, and then we got courses for trainers or people that want to be certified. Certified means that uh, you get assessed on all the exercises, so you know you're doing it right and you're getting coaching. So the at-home courses are cheaper and they're very affordable, but you just don't get the coaching with it. You just get the information and the rest is up to you to self-assess. Still a, a lot of value in there, absolutely. So check that out, Master the Swing, Master the Kettlebell Swing by Caveman Training, and join the course, come and say hello. And uh, otherwise, hope to see you in uh, some of the groups and post below if this helped you. So guys and girls, I just finished the day seven of the burpee and swing challenge. Uh, if you've been staying up to date, you know that uh, we've been banned from Facebook. We've had these uh, problems many times, even though uh, we post in our own groups, they still mess about with our accounts. So um, uh, it really affects the business, obviously, because we just can't spread the information that we're putting out anymore even though there are our own groups like we've been spending years to uh, to build up these groups yeah and uh, now it just gets taken away just like that so what I'm asking you right now is if you can please help us out if we post a new video on our channel what do you want what do you want you want to say something too huh All right, back to it. So if we put a video out, we just kindly ask you to uh, post it in our groups with uh, the description if you can. Like there's always a description of the video. So you can just copy the link to the video, go to one of our groups and post it there with the description if you can. If you can't, that's fine too. Anything is appreciated, you know while we're just trying to get this sorted. Uh, there's nobody you can contact ever. You can't pay money to get these things sorted, nothing. So if you guys can help us out, that'd be great. So some of the groups are Kettlebell Training. You'll know that it's our group. We've got the, the logo, Caveman Training logo, and Kettlebell Workout group. Uh, they all have over 15,000 people. Uh, kettlebell Training, uh, Kettlebells for Beginners. That's another group and kettlebell enthusiasts and CrossFit what we got workouts 
and uh, the Kajman training group. So if you've been following us, you know which group is ours. And once again, it's really appreciated if you can help out a bit. Just uh, till we get it sorted. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Now forget these awesome shirts, Caveman Training. You can get those in uh, our shop, our online shop. Go to www.cavemantraining.com forward slash shop. They're awesome.